What is up YouTube, Orange Spark 16 here, and uh, I want to take a minute and look at my YouTube channel art. This right here. The one thing that's over everyone's channel now that gives it, uh, the channel its creativity. Seeing as I took away our backgrounds, we now have this channel art. And many people are having difficulty finding some channel art. And you may be thinking, did I find mine? Like, where did I find it? I didn't find it. I actually made it myself. And it was very simple. Uh, I actually taught myself how to do it really quick. I mean, it's simple. But you may not have thought of it. That's why I'm making this tutorial to uh, guide you. So none of these links, I have a bunch of links open, are going to be in the description. You're just going to have to watch the video to uh, find out um, what to do. So just follow along if you'd like. Now, the only the program we're going to be using is Microsoft PowerPoint. You've all used this in school probably. And uh, we're going to be using the page setup option, which is under the tab design. You're going to want to open that up. And uh, this is going to help us build the uh, channel art. So what you're going to first first you can want to do is uh, this is the guideline, the specifications. This is uh, YouTube's own specs. So what you're going to want to do is get yourself an image size calculator. So these are the pixels, 2120 by 1192, and you're going to want to make them into inches. So 2120 by 1192. I believe that was it, 1192, yep. And you're going to want to take these and then put them into your Microsoft PowerPoint page setup. So it's going to go back and forth, 28, 27. You don't even have to do this, you can just watch me do it. And follow along, and 15.89. Let me check that one more time. And you're going to want to hit OK. And then your... Uh, slide shall now look like this. And it's uh, okay if you just go ahead and delete everything. It probably doesn't affect um, the making of it. So now we have your canvas. So then what you're going to want to do is put in a background. So you're going to insert your picture, find yourself a nice background, mine are in the downloads. This is what I used and it uh, it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to expand that all the way out and that's what I used as uh, my background. Then you want to go to insert again if you want more pictures or you can skip right to the text but I'm gonna do this bit because it's very important to know. You want to put stuff on top of this but you don't want all like the blockiness of the picture like this. See? Now what does this doesn't look good at all, right? Like this all black. Well, Microsoft PowerPoint allows for the removal of backgrounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, remove background. And it does it for you, and I got lucky for this. It removed all the black to make this nice picture. And I'm gonna wanna click keep the changes. And there we go. Now you have yourself this um, nice picture that you wanted. Not as great as it could have been, but I mean, hey. Sometimes you're going to have to mark areas to keep. Like, if I wanted to keep some black, you'd drag it. And there you go. You got yourself some black. I don't know why you'd want to, but... Oop. Oh, I'm going to have to remove it again. There you go. Keep changes. Now comes the text, and what I did is I managed to find a uh, font. You're going to want to insert a text box. I managed to find a font that I like. As uh, you may have noticed, it's Minecraft font. How I got that? To font.com, the Minecrafter font, and these are all their letters. What you want to do is you want... Uh, to hit download. I'm going to do it for just the visual. And it pops up and you got yourself the license, the TTF, the readme. All you want is the TTI, uh, TTF, dot TTF. You go into your search box, you type in fonts, 
it should come up with the fonts boxes if you're using Windows 7 maybe Windows Vista I highly doubt it's XP uh, it's gonna slowly bring it in but all you do is you drag and drop it in there you go so since that's gonna take a while I'm not gonna waste time you can do that if you want to keep the font yourself as uh, I'll show you in this drop down menu I now have the Minecraft font there it is orange spark 16 and um, you can go ahead and highlight that change the size because you're gonna want it to be pretty big not too big though I'll explain that in a second and you can go ahead and change the color anything you'd like orange spark 16 is orange so no I picked orange even if you want to do the shadow go ahead it kinda of gives it a tiny bit of a pop out effect if you didn't notice like you can see it now it's all blocky then it gives it a tiny little of a pop out effect that's uh, something you can do and then um, another thing if you don't want to go through all that downloading I found something called textcraft.net where uh, you can come in here and um, I don't I haven't messed with everything you can do that but if I just want orange spark 16 I type it in this first box click create and there you go that's an image and you can right click and save the image and it's just this thing see if I drag it it shows it just this it doesn't copy the background I did play with this a little bit um, and I prefer this type of gravelly this rock look over that one so play around with that if you'd like and um, that's if you just want the Minecraft thing. I'm just telling you right now for that. Um, and then uh, you're pretty much done if this is what you want. But there's one more thing. If you've noticed on this um, guidelines, you have a text slash logo safe area, minimum view area visible on all devices. You have this small box for like every uh, device to see. So you're gonna actually want to fit Orange Spark 16 and most of your images in oh, this little box right there. You can make more like I did. I actually extended it a bit out here uh, because I had a desktop so it shows this giant area right there. Um, I'll actually show you what I did. Picture, I have these cross swords and the background is already void. And I just made them small and put them right next to each other as you already saw. Uh, and what you're going to end up doing is when you save the image, and you're going to want to save it, I'll actually show you how to save it because this is the tutorial. You're going to want to save it as a JPEG file. Name it what you want, save it as the JPEG file. It's the smallest file, easy to... Uh, use, transfer, uh, upload, uh, stuff like that. Um, you're not going to get it how you want it on the first try. And so if it's anything like um, image is not totally on the screen, what you can do is I believe you can shift click all the images you want. You hold shift and click everything. You can use the arrow keys to move them from left, right, up and down if you want to get in the right area. So that's a uh, nifty trick. Another thing is if you accidentally put your text down first and then this background image, like if you want to add stuff new, just click the uh, image. I'm trying to get the text here. And under Drawing Tools Format, there's a Bring Forward, Send Backward um, thing. So if I click Send Backward, it goes behind it. Bring Forward comes up. If I send it backward twice, it's gone because it's behind the background itself. So just remember that when you're placing images, that there is like an order in which you do it. Each one gets placed on top of the other, so you're going to want to send it backward, bring it forward, etc. So now that that's done, you can um, click exit after you save it. Of course, I'm not going to save this one. You're going to want to go to YouTube, edit your channel art, right on your main screen you select the photo off your computer mine is located in my minecraft folder as channel art so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up 
Um, and here it is. And you can adjust the crop if you'd like. So this is the minimal box right here. So this is what all devices are going to see. So you're not going to see all the swords or all uh, of this here. In fact, you don't even see that on the desktop. But on your TV, it'll show that. So that's nice. And, you know, I don't need all this, like, tiny stuff here. So that's how you get it. And then you can do your device's preview, and it shows you what you're going to see. On the desktop, I should be seeing that stuff, but I'm not. Um, and what I found out is what I used before, when you... Oops, cancel that. Well, let me see it. Uh, it says recommended channel art size down here. I've been using that, but you can use the other channel art specs as well is what it recommends there um, also so that's the tutorial just right there you did it all it was simple I taught you some tips and tricks um, there is maybe one last thing I can show you um, with Microsoft PowerPoint and that's if if you insert a picture like uh, say I want the Triforce thing back here from Legend of Zelda, you can go into uh, Artistic Effects, Artistic Effects Options, it'll bring up this thing, and you can actually change the picture, or the color of your picture, and make it into different things. You can do 3D, um, 3D is pretty nice. If you really uh, have a picture that can do 3D, mine's not working right now. You have shadow. That's also a nice thing to have. I don't think the shadow's showing up, though, because this is a weird picture. But you get the gist of it. Format your picture. That'll be nice. And um, I'm going to leave off here just saying my last piece of advice. If you want to make your own... Uh, channel icon, I mean it's profile picture, channel icon, whatever you want to call it. You can also use PowerPoint for that. When you uh, click this, it'll tell you that for best results get the 800 by 800. So you go into your pixel converter to inch converter, set your page setup to that uh, width and height. There you go, you can make that too. So thanks for joining me in this tutorial. Awesome channel art by me. Um, I do not want to see requests to make you guys channel art. I know it would be nice of me to do, and I will say this, I'll be honest, I made one of my, um, friends over Facebook, I made him some nice stuff, if I can find him, here I can show you, Mr. Mason Entertainment, um, I made him his uh, icon and channel art, but that was it. That's all I'm going to do. So if you uh, are going to request, then why would you even watch the video? I mean, I gave you the tutorial. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Orange Spark 16, out.